hello everybody good evening good evening you are welcome back to our channel this is the obonaya at okays and this is saturday night 10 p.m gmt plus one and as our manner has become this is our time of prayer as i am as a corporate entity we have come once again to honor god we have come once again to honor our father to commune with our father to fellowship with spirit it's a it's a it's a fellowship of spirit he said you have come upon mount zion you have come um, to the city of the living God and he began to enumerate several entities that are resident upon Mount Zion and say you have come to God who is the judge of all flesh you have come to the innumerable company of angels you have come to um, the spirits of just men made perfect you've come to Jesus the mediator of the new covenant you've come to the blood of sprinkling so we have come it's, it's an interaction between spirits is is you know you know we are not just on a you are not just on a YouTube channel I want you to um take away that mindset from your from yourself you know take away that 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 my oh this is a youtube video no you have come upon man zion as long as the spirit of god is in the place as long as there is an interaction is is called man zion is the place of fellowship is the place of communion is the place of koinonia is the place where you interact with god it's a place where you 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 cast your cares upon the lord you it's a place where you onboarding do you understand so you are welcome once again and before we start worshiping before we start praying you know something just came into my heart that um we are living in a time in a season where it's easy to get fr um, frustrated as it were the average man is living in a hard time you know the times are uh you know daily is getting difficult you know you have to make ends meet you have to um there are um some things you need done there's a prayer you've been praying and it's as though god is not responding you know you are you have this prayer request uh whatsoever it may be it may be financially it may be physically it may be in your health it may be in your career it may be in your academics it may be in your marriage it may be in your relationship it may be in any in any aspect of your life you know you've been you know beseeching god for this thing and it's as though there is no response from heaven and you are at that point where you are getting to the point of frustration you know you are now like getting angry at god you are now like frustrated you know spiritual things no longer appeal to you you know it is to you that god is bringing this message this night and what he told me to tell you is that you know you should do well to remember remember you know the enemy wants you to um come to that point where you you are you are so focused on your present storm that you forget the past victory you know he wants you to so much focus on this particular need that you've been praying about and it's as though there's no response do you understand it's as though there is no response but by the way there, there is always a response when we pray do you understand it may just be that it has not been made manifest physically but god always responds to our prayers but that's just on, on on the side um um the the uh, uh uh the devil wants you to to become so consumed with your present predicament that you forget the faithfulness of god and once he brings you to that place he cuts you off from god because you are now angry at god you are now considering to um you know, cause god and die you are now like god where are you let me tell you where, where god is he is in in the same exact place where he was when he gave you that admission five years ago he's in that same spot where he where, where he was when he gave you that job he's in that same spot he was when he gave you that marriage he's in that same spot that he was when he gave you that child do you understand he's in that same exact spot that he was 10 years ago when he saved you from that accident when he saved you from that sickness so god is in that same place and he's saying remember remember don't fall for the for the for the for the antics of the enemy remember now let me show you a scripture that will bless you in psalm chapter 78 and from verse 40 the scripture talking about the sons of israel the scripture says how often did they provoke him in the wilderness and grieve him in the desert for one yea they turned back and tempted god and limited the holy one of israel kai 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 they remembered not his hand 
nor the day when he delivered them from the enemy so the root cause of this um of this um the, of the current state of the israelites according to this scripture is that they failed to remember the hand of god and how he delivered them from bondage and how he delivered them from egypt from the enemy do you understand and because they did not remember it had a a, a consequence because they did not remember they provoked god they grieved him and they cut off from the mighty acts of god do you understand let me read it again verse 40 now verse 42 is who is the root cause he said they remembered not his hand nor the day when he delivered them from the enemy now verse 40 says how often so because they did not remember they now began they now began to provoke god in the wilderness they now be, began to be, get frustrated that god in the wilderness that's number one so when you fail to remember the 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 past victories that god handed over to you when you fail to remember the past acts of god when you fail to remember the hand of god that sustained you in years past do you understand you would now get frustrated at god number one so you begin to provoke god you begin to grieve him in the in, in the in the in your in your wilderness seasons then number two verse 41 says yea they turned back and tempted god and limited the holy one of israel and limited and limited so based on your frustration you are now going to limit the works of god in your life do you understand so the enemy wants to put you in that cycle where number one you, you forget the benefits of god like like the psalmist who says in 103 from verse 1 he said bless the lord oh my soul and do not forget his benefits bless the lord all my soul and all that is within me bless the lord my soul and do not forget his benefit so uh, and when you forget the benefits of god it will drive you drive you to the place of frustration so you get angry at god number two and then because of that anger and your frustration uh, uh, um, at god you are going to cut off the mighty hand of god you are going to limit god in your life so that thing that god even wants to do you cut it short by your by your frustration you cut it short by your anger you cut it short by by um by the fact that you know you now start you know running away from god running away from fellowship no no not feeling like praying not feeling like making your confessions that is the exact place um the devil wants you to be so tonight god is telling you remember 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 the children of israel they forgot and that was the reason for their predicament they limited god so god is saying tonight remember can you just cast your mind back can you begin to cast your mind back oh to those things those mighty acts of god that he 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 he, he made available to you Oh, can you remember tonight? Huh? Oh, Melanesia, how he has loved you since the day you were born, how he has sustained you, how he has led you through times, huh? through different seasons of your life, how he has brought you into your current place please can you remember and give god the praise tonight oh jesus can you remember and give god the worship tonight can you remember how he delivered you how he saved you haha resute perusia enkopenetusia how he saved you from that accident and you did not die you did not lose your arm oh jesus de perene kai don se freto no moros cabalande resune meletalia can you say i will not forget resole menesha the enemy has been playing with my mind the enemy has been playing with my emotions but tonight I say no more Shatelia prosupretelia. I say no more Kalinko Peresune Britiata. I will give you the praise, Lord God, for I remember your acts. I remember your mighty works in my life, in my family, in the 
life of my wife uh, in the life of my of my husband uh, in the life of my of my child uh, in the life of my of my of my uh, friends uh, i remember how you sustained me through the university days uh, how you provided for me how you gave me protection um, oh how you guided me through through my days uh, oh i choose to remember i choose to remember i choose to remember i will not forget or benefit them um, i remember how you handed over this job to me i remember how you can you just begin to remember? Can you just begin to remember? Malaru se pretende de recopelende mentos in Malata. It was the prophet Samuel that said that. He said, I established this stone. I put this stone of remembrance here. I call it Ebenezer. For thus far, the Lord has helped us. We acknowledge that thus far you have helped us. We acknowledge that you are the doer of all good things. Oh, we acknowledge tonight and we give you the praise. We declare, Lord, that we are sorry for the times that we have gotten frustrated at you. We, 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 we repent of the frustration. We say, Lord, have mercy. Malasom perenesia calibara som pretede ratani antons eletalia ye comperuse. We worship you tonight. Thank you for that child that you gave me. Oh Jesus, Sadana no jetonome resco bereta. Reprendo bolonos cabaram de resca babalata. Errende belenomos ambere cabalapo. We choose to remember tonight. We choose to remember tonight. Oh, we choose to remember tonight. Ah, la barante salata, e copelenesia, repressundo peletaria, gantene no, e lonze frenon barante lia nonze le preda baranda, o pequande shitalaka, repreno malanandia. I just want you to remember, just keep remembering, just keep recounting the goodness of the Lord. Ah, Geneha, at those crossroads of your life, can you remember how God delivered you, how God showed you the way, how mercy came uh, and met you uh, at the crossroad of your life uh, and delivered you uh, and set you in the right place uh, and set you in the right direction uh, and set you in the right job uh, and set you in the right marriage uh, and set you in the right church uh, and set you oh jesala burante kepelana and say lord i give you the praise oh melen suno prene me Erre kapala nate, jeke tene benteli ya ruso prete beleta, rata ni bidi ya tele mene gede belete mene belete beka tapala nama hande belete, rakono belete na la 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 ba jebe de beleta, repre de beleti ya sofre ne paha. Oh Jesus, we thank you. We worship you. In the name of Jesus, we have worshipped. Now, in that scripture that we quoted earlier, um, earlier, um, about Prophet Samuel, he established a stone of remembrance and called it Ebenezer saying for thus far the Lord has helped us so prophet Samuel was reconciling the past uh, with the future in the sense that he was saying that God you know that statement number one is thanking God for the past but also number two is you know you know hidden in that statement is a confidence that prophet Samuel was bringing he was saying that the God that has helped us thus far, we acknowledge, yes, it, it was you that helped us. It was by the help of God that we are in this current place. Do you understand? <laughs> but he was now saying that for the journey ahead, the help of God is also what we need. And we are sure of that help. Do you understand? Because the God that brought us thus far we also lead us to that. So we are going to be praying for the help of God tonight. And I will read one more scripture. Um, in the New Testament, the book of Acts, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 26 and verse, verse 22. You know, it was Paul that was speaking in this verse. And you know, we know Apostle Paul, how he, you know, he uh did all the mighty works, how he had victories in his life, how he, you know, but, but now he was now giving us one of his secrets. And he says in verse 22, Acts chapter 26 and verse 22, he says, Having therefore obtained help of God, 
having therefore obtained help of god i continue on to this day we'll stop it there you see having therefore received help of god i continue on to this day so apostle paul was saying that my sustenance to this day has been the help of god what has sustained me do you understand what has sustained me all these years what has granted me the victories of these years what has led me what has kept me standing to this time is the help of god so he was saying that had it been that god did not show me his help had it been that god did not help me i would not be standing to this day i will not have the victories i've had to this day do you understand so tonight we are going to be taking that scripture and we'll be crying say having therefore obtained help of god it means that the help of god can be obtained so even though that the help even though that the help of god is available you need to obtain it it's just like mercy if you need to obtain mercy hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16 he says therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that you would obtain mercy it means that mercy is available for you but you need to obtain it too so that it can be active in your life in the same way the help of god is available but you need to obtain it so that it will be activated in your life and how do you obtain one of the ways is by your prayer you ask god lord help me do you understand so tonight i want you to from the sincerity of your heart you are saying god i know that by the strength of arm no man can prevail i declare that tonight i need your help oh father i understand that my will cannot you are the one that will even make me to will and then to do according to your good pleasure so lord tonight i subscribe to your help can you just go ahead and make that prayer lord tonight i subscribe to your help i ask that you would help me in my different endeavors in my in my in my relationship with you in my work with you in my in my in my finances in my marriage in my business in every aspect of my life i am crying out help me your god go ahead and begin to pray Kabalande ele rusiete e shoto beleta e say fear not i would help you oh what that warm jacob you know god was speaking to jacob and he was calling him oh warm jacob he was trying to reveal to him the 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 the, the weakness that is inherent in in that vessel he was saying thou warm jacob the warm does not have a spine so the the the, the warm does not have stability the warm is weak so god was saying you jacob you are weak in yourself but i will help you it is in my strength that you are strengthened it, it is in my in my ability that you have ability but without me you can do nothing so can you just begin to say lord show me your help oh god in the name of jesus that your help will be made available i will be a man helped of god i will be a, a a woman help of God help me your spirit of God resoto pelekania bring your help unto me ya mele rusia tom pelena ha esha kandi beru severeta in the work of my hand le rusia e kamala nozia rebrendos abalana jegedege tele rusia verento moloto recopele renzu fentelete mene no jandala breno rapra da baha ele no jaram de raka ele ne ne de 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 reprende mele de de baha akala da 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 ha le mele da bo jerem de repro da bala da ha e re no mala na si vele ta help me your god in my marriage lord help me in my relationship help me your god ah je son do men de le rusa bala ta in my business your help oh god i cry for me re su no men a guan de ru brende pen do lo do ba re su no men a kala no shata in the name of jesus now in the kingdom according to the system of god there there are no self-made men they are only men that have been helped of god do you understand according to the system of god in the kingdom in our kingdom there are no self-made men, men so every man you see that is working with god that is you know that is uh, uh um um i'm um, doing exploit in in the business sector in the political sector in 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 his relationship with god any man that is doing kingdom exploits do you understand was not self-made he received the help of god so there are no self-made men they are only men that are helped of god 
do you understand so when god helps you in that business that business would prosper in the book of isaiah the scripture was saying was speaking said for the lord god and his spirit has sent me so when the lord is with you when his spirit is with you that is what makes for your progress and your success so you are looking at men you are looking at men and they are doing exploits and you are like is he not a man no he is he has been helped by his spirit do you understand so you 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 men were 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 created to 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 have the need of the help of the of the of the of the spirit realm so whether good spirit or bad spirit so any man there is there is a certain dimension that you cannot enter if you are not helped by a spirit do you understand there is a certain dimension of wealth for example that you cannot progress into if you you do not receive the assistance of a spirit so that's why that's the reason that people that don't know god they partner with demons they partner with with with, with the devil and they make progress do you understand because there are certain depths that you cannot go to without the assistance of spirits do you understand so as a believer you must maximize the help of god if you want to go far so when you receive the help of god in your business you you begin to see that you know things begin to work out well you receive instructions of what to do you receive clients you receive customers you know you know god will just imagine that god is doing that babbling business with you imagine that god is doing that um uh uh uh, um sewing business with you that fashion business with you imagine that it is god imagine the kind of success that will be birthed through that business yeah it may not look like it now but once god is involved you are sure you are sure you are sure (laughs) <laughs> it is 100% certain once God is involved it is 100% certain that you will succeed so once again I want you to cry out with this understanding with this consciousness cry out and say Lord help me I know I cannot soil my hands I know I cannot partner with devils I cannot partner with demons so it is you it is <laughs> you know Jesus was speaking and he told um, uh, 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 Peter will you also depart will you also join them and, and depart from me and Peter told him where shall we go you are the one that 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 has the bread of life you are the one you are the one so can you say lord tonight i am going nowhere you are the one i don't have any other option you are the one you are the one you have the bread of life so i come to you and i ask for your help oh god help me oh god help me oh god what is that project that is currently in your life that you are currently believing god for can you say lord help me in this project help me in this project help me in this project Resuse pretelia, incopelete, jecute le parande, resune feledia, jecute e camia, russie lo frenso prede, resunie e quala kaito zietune e quana cande, le russe le menusia a ka le russie to bende, recomene no siete lurivre superede, la onte i copele no geronte la varam de russeila, reprendon zain de lonton pretovre siete. Lobo, recola, i copelada, i copelada, russieto, menenege non se le faram del sono peru veleni anton zene, le calen denzunzo fretio peranosia. To someone out there, God is saying, Hold on, hold on, help is on the way. Hold on, help is on the way. You are at the verge of giving up. God is saying, Hold on, help is on the way. Kayalos and Severene Shandelico, Bresu Fretele Rendebaha, Resono Monumente Nemer Handele de Bosger Rendo Robobalata, Reke de Belene Handon Severendo Robobopopa Liendo de Bozo, Reprende Pele de Bosgen de Le Calia Runde Falata, E Copela Susofreni Shananande, Le Russia, E Canon and Di, Barushie Elisoso Preniada, Tenusie E Cale Nosise Felidia, Jesune Eliva, Rus. 
Lucie Tedema, Luteina et Kwa, la Kletosh Inkleno, Resenove et la Sune et Kuma, les tous et Sie Tonoma, Jeko Resuse Fariato, Kepa en Nesuno Venente, Jeka le Russie Falanos in Cetalia. You were making good progress before. In times past, you were making good process. And progress you were succeeding but all of a sudden there seems to be a drought there has been a drought in the work of your hands and there have been a a slowing down god is saying i am bringing restoration to you i am bringing restoration to you the things that the enemy has you know has 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 brought into your life god that has made that um that that business to slow down god is removing in the name of jesus he is saying i am bringing restoration restoration this is your season of restoration this is your season to 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 come back into your wealthy place this is your season to come back into your into your um, um your highway into your highway into your highway into your highway go ahead and pray in the spirit shana namaha le rusiele frentos ensia de leneman de lucobre sufre teleda jesus efrania you have been having um 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 a persistent pain in the head for some days now you know um you've taken drugs and it's as though it's still there god is saying it is gone at this time in the name of jesus as I stretch forth my hands towards you, I declare in the name of Jesus. Oh, Shali Josephanita, I see the oil of God coming upon your head. In the name of Jesus, that pain is dissolved right now. In the name of Jesus, you demon of pain, I cast you out in the name of Jesus. I declare you have no hold in that body out right now in the name of jesus i declare that there is restoration from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet there is restoration in the name of jesus you are healed in the name of jesus oh jesus father lord we thank you we thank you for your help that you've granted us tonight Zono frente ilia compreso frente le handele de bushatane resuso fretila e coperia do frenzia de lenicia e capa resuso pretelia e copende icana resuse felenia. Lord, we give you the praise, we give you the glory, we give you all the honor. Be thou exalted, Lord. I declare for everyone that has joined this prayer, I declare that you receive the help of God in measures that you do you have not fathomed the scripture says that what eyes have not seen what ears have not heard what has not entered into the heart of men god has prepared for them that love him i declare over you in the name of jesus it has not even entered your own heart what god will do he grants you his help he grants you his help in the name of jesus i hear favor i hear favor in the name of jesus i speak favor over you in the name of Je the help of god will be made manifest in different levels of favor in your life you begin to notice that favor is playing out in your life people men will begin to favor you in the name of jesus kalani jesus ofrenia lekute liaga Jesus de Ferrucia e canina aluria ze freno ze frine e kaba. Losuse fenia jeka from far and wide. I hear far and wide. So it's not just about your locality. From far and wide, you begin to receive favors in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus se fende compre sufre telian de le coperusia. Le ruseilo peru frene. Le sonove i caino. Jesus se fine e qua la gande. Shakadi resuso feriada. Me qua la candelitosia. Resute capala. 
I bind the spirit of depression. I bind the spirit that wants to make you frustrated that God, I bind that spirit right now. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you maintain your joy. I declare that you maintain your praise. I declare that you maintain your connection with God. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise. Be thou exalted, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Thank you. God bless you. I want you to, um, if you are at that point where, where um, 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 you, it's as though because of the present circumstance, what uh, you've been trusting God for over the time, and you know, you are beginning to draw back from God. I want you to know that God is with you. God is for you. God is not against you. So, I want you to um, awaken your confidence in God. Awaken your confidence. Awaken your trust in God. God bless you. And do have a lovely night rest. Bye. See you next week, Saturday. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.